It is day three and we are in St Paul Square. We've been walking for a while, taking a few pictures this morning like as like an exercise. We had to take pictures of like shop owners and stuff like that but we had to have the confidence to go up to people and say excuse me you know we're doing a photography project can you have your picture taken give them like release forms for permission stuff like that so we've been doing that today um they're outside a coffee shop i don't know why and um yeah we're going to some kind of museum basically we're in an art gallery i'll show you around Downstairs it is then. <laughs> Come along. Spiral staircase. Gosh, it's echoey in here. Bloody hell, it's like being in the war times. Oh, it's like being in the war. Oh, <laughs> oh it's a basement. Ooh. This is literally a basement. It's the only basement I've never been scared in. It's nice, it's like a house. Usually basements are scary in my opinion, but this isn't too bad. That was really cool. Where are we going? Oh, we're going back to uh, Centrala in Digbeth, which is our base. I'm trying not to get ran over by an Uber. <laughs> oh dear. And uh, we're having like a lighting workshop this evening, not an evening, later on. <laughs> Walk out a little bit. Stephen wants me to walk quicker <laughs> and the blister on my foot says no. <laughs> the blister on my foot says no Stephen. It's saying no thanks. <laughs> I used to be used to all this walking when I actually lived here.
So we're now in a lighting workshop, which I'm so excited for. And uh, we get to kind of like learn how it's set up and what equipment there is. Pretty cool, you can see. This is like the um, more technical side. This is what I haven't done as much of. And I, I'm really excited to learn this stuff basically. photography to like learn about that I've done like media for like five years solid and I haven't learned anything on the other end of photography like I've always learned digital everything digital now it's like you know it's, it's more like the film stuff so that's cool I'm in um, Selfridges getting distracted they've given us a few minutes to get food but I've already got food so I'm just getting distracted at all the little things in here. I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> looking at the little Peppa Pig house. But yeah, follow us along. And this morning we weren't really doing anything that interesting, like vlog worthy, that I had to capture. We were just looking at photos, having a bit of a photo review with each other. That was basically what we were doing for the start of the day. But it was really good. Jelly beans. Jelly beans. My favourite jelly beans, they don't have. They are um, toasted marshmallow jelly belly. 
and as far as I can see, they don't have any. They used to have more. They used to have like a whole bigger mix years ago. But it um, doesn't seem to be that way. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just getting distracted. Uh, We're on the no, bus. I just want to be nice. Do you want to sit here? I'm fine. And it's going to move. The bus is going to move. It's moving. This area a bit. I don't walk around it often, but like whenever I'm in a car, we're going through Birmingham. I see it. My mum was born in Mosley. She was indeed. My mum was born in Mosley. She lived in Mosley. She went to school in Mosley. My mum did. The old print works. Oh yes, I know. I do know actually. I think they've changed it a bit. They've changed it a bit. Oh, hello. One of uh, the other people have joined us. Didn't this used to, isn't this used as like a concert venue as well? Hmm. <laughs> Put some masks on again. themselves they're kind of yeah if they've done what yeah they're kind of experienced in photography and actually if they've ever done any kind of dark room stuff maybe that'd be a good place to kick things off. I'm also Dan. <laughs> uh, I do mainly music and fashion photography. I've done some film photography in the past but I've nothing to do with dark room stuff. So I'm Emma. I do fancy photography. Um, I, for my first year of uni, I did a lot of work in, in the dark rooms, in black and white printing. Um, I'm Zoe, I just do everything photography, have really found what I really enjoy that. Um, I haven't travelled to film or dark rooms yet, but I do have a film camera and film, I just haven't actually put the two together yet. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Fair enough, nice one. I'm Jack, I'm Jack. Yeah, Jack. Oh, Jack. My name is Angela. Uh, I love Sorry, what? Angela. Angela. And I also have some experience with that room from Queenie. Cool. Uh, I'm Joe. I'm doing A level photography. I haven't got much experience with the dark room. Cool. Um, I'm Hayley. Uh, I'm kind of interested in like a range of different styles and I've never done anything dark room but I'm really intrigued to try it. I feel like I'm 
Cool. I'm Steph. I'm currently vlogging. I've got a YouTube channel. Um, I did um, media at college and then at uni I finished that. And um, I've done all digital photography. I've never done any darkroom stuff. So I'm really interested and keen to learn about it. Yeah, for sure. Cool. All right. <laughs> I'm going to take my mask off while we're in there actually, just because I've sort of, you know, been in, been doing a bit of travelling that. So, yeah. I've had this not very well signed uh, dark red bag for about, I realise it's 10 years probably since I've had it now, so I think I've probably lost my post on Instagram. Now, <laughs> <you know>. <laughs> <laughs> running, you know, running courses, doing projects, uh, exhibitions. Uh, I, I think I first met Stephen um, when uh, Andrew Jackson. And I were working on a project for some cities and we commissioned him to make some work for Boston mm. Ethan. We had a show in here. Um, uh, Stephen and, and another photographer, Atelier Fumarella, who made some work about Major Bass across the road, which uh, one of the photographs subsequently came into space, right? Mm. You know, which is yeah, a, yeah. nice, a nice thing, uh, you know, uh, 112 people. The dark room, which is through there, is uh, I'm a tenant of the wider project here, which is called the old print work, which is by a character who made it sustainable, who kind of manages it, also on the board of that, but we run the Mix, the Mix Cafe out the front, but it's a kind of a youth arts organisation, really great people do loads of really interesting stuff uh, here, um, it's like a personal train, there have been brewers, bakers, <laughs> yeah, kind of stuff you can you can check it out, but it's a kind of a, yeah, it's a, I don't know thirty or forty units, so it's kind of an interesting, it's kind of an interesting place, and it's uh, uh, evolving, I guess. This upstairs here is a kind of uh, nominally it's called the upper gallery, but uh, um, I've not long since got got some got some funding to run a program of, of exhibitions up here and again, like uh, like um, sort of. Through Dark and Birmingham, so okay. we're going to be doing one with um, working with a homelessness charity called Let's Be Let's Be Brum, okay. looking at kind of participatory documentary photography and, and, and that kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, I run I run courses and I do sort of you know to help people out with photography projects to a certain extent. One of the other intents of the of the funding of this this Arts Council funding for the next um, year ish. Is um, making the, the space kind of more accessible to photographers who, who want to get things done. We've accumulated quite a lot of stuff over the years, and there's a kind of space that's here, and I've got a load of frames, and I've got like a you know 17 inch kind of like digital printer. It's not the same one. <laughs> it's a different one. <laughs> that one uh, packed up actually oh. soon afterwards. But, uh, oh. um, and there's a dark room as well, so it's kind of like, so, you know, one of the things that I think that, that's not, you know, one of the things I think potentially, you know, there's a lot of different people who are interested in photography and who use photography and various different reasons, but there's not many project spaces. Mm -hmm. you know, there's some good organisations, there's some good galleries, but there's not, there's not many places that you can kind of come if you're outside of institutional education to come and kind of get stuff done. Mm -hmm. So I've got, you know, I've got the dark room, I've got like, working on some colour process kit, um, got stuff to make frames and cut mats and, and put work up and uh, all that kind of thing, so it's sort of trying to make it into a bit more of a, a kind of a, a cooperative or collaborative mm. space to kind of like put projects out there. I'll show you a few of the things that I've worked on the last couple of years, and some older stuff, um, but really we've got like this kind of a practical session today, uh, by and large, if I'm talking too much. <laughs> So we're going to do some use some large format cameras, uh, make a portraits, and looking at combining text with portraits. Uh, cool. Which is, I gather, you, you've been doing a bit interdisciplinary kind of stuff. Just yeah. I was like, hmm, probably need a few more chairs. I'm a bit of a stander, but uh, <laughs> I realised that oh, there are. Do you just want to go in? There are chairs. Come in, yeah, and, uh, and let's try and. This is the, the room. Uh, I find that I'll move those, those pieces there. Oh, yeah. Big printer uh, there. You might want to do, depending on that, you know, how you're, uh, you, you might want to come through two by two if uh, you can. Order like Noah's Ark. No, no pressure, but it, it's going to take us quite a while to get through if we do one by one, I suppose. Two by two, yep, Noah's Ark, that's a good method. 
Oh, oh my god. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> I did not expect a TARDIS. Oh my god. We're going to Hogwarts, lads. Oh. And we're in Hogwarts. Yeah. It was very dark in there, so I couldn't film. But oh my god, it's so weird going through that door. It's so weird. I was just like, what the hell? I thought I was going to go to like Doctor Who's TARDIS. I was really like, ah. it's like going to a theme park. But um, film photography, gosh, there's a lot involved. Like, I knew that, I knew, but seeing it, you know, makes you more aware. F stop, and they're all kind of what's the word? Stop keyed in, right? So if you, you know, you increase the shutter speed, you decrease the uh, aperture. Hello. See, see you later, Dan. We're just, just guided to a. Oh, okay. All right. All right. See you later. Yeah. Okay. Uh, hi, YouTube. Uh, <laughs> um, right. So. It's because I know I'll forget this because it's a lot of. The maximum aperture of this lens is 5.6. Okay, so f5.6 here, it's given us between two and four seconds. Okay, so we'll go for, I think we'll, we'll go, go for four. It's better, usually, most contexts are better to kind of overexpose a bit than underexpose, mm -hmm. depending on what you want, but you know. Um, so yeah, four second exposure, which is, in answer to sort of Stephen's question, was probably what I would have guessed it would be. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, do some light metering. A bit of light metering here, that's a bit better, isn't it? So now, so F5.6, mm -hmm. two seconds, so yeah, that's it's fine. a bit brighter over there. So I think what maybe what we're going to do is if you if we change the angle a little bit, so because she's sort of against the light. Yeah. See what I mean? So this is partly us having um, this room being a bit cluttered. But if you turn, if you, how do you want me to? Stay? So come this way a little bit. Oh, after the show. Yeah. So you're just facing, just sort of like facing into the window. You might even want to go like. Is that a bit more? So you're yeah, you're the expert. Now. Yeah, yeah. Just stay still for a second, please. Okay. That's better. Yeah. Thank you, my So. We flip the thing down, right? Mm -hmm. And then we'll take the dark slide and the, the, that, that back fits. one facing forwards goes in the back there. Okay. Yeah, and then push that across to cock the shutter away from you. Mm -hmm. That's it. And that's your... Okay, so pull the, pull the front dark slide out. This one all the way? Yeah. And then careful not to knock the camera when you're taking the picture. So you're going to count Stacey in so she stays really still. Two seconds. Yeah. Ready? Mm hmm. Okay. One, two, one, two. And then press it again. That's it. Okay. Cool. Okay. The, the, like the fact that the orthochromatic thing just makes mm. it super contrasty, right? The, the shadows, like, these are. And what we can do, I've got a scanner there, and we can plug them into my laptop oh my and put them into God. Photoshop. Well, yeah, it's quite they look room. evil. <laughs> Thanks very much. Well, because it's black and white, like, the whole... Oh, yeah. 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 oh my yeah. God. You two definitely look like, like, spooky twins. <laughs> <laughs> like, the like, something out of a horror film. Like, yeah, the yeah, nuns. Yeah, like, yeah. The <laughs> nuns. We need to get you two at oh the end. God. Get you two at the end of a, a spooky corridor. Oh god. Yeah, Joe's top does look good. That's me. I think Oh yeah. Did you wear that on purpose or? No. <laughs> I think I, I like so. how my flowers look because I like how the textures come up. I love how the stars have come up on my t-shirt. That is super cool. That is super cool. I, yeah. Oh. I should have worn stripes. The classes are interesting. We got oh, some more. Nice yeah. Ooh, I like that one. Oh, there you go. There's yours, Stephen. Thank you. <laughs> I like that crop. That is what it looks like. Um, There's like an yeah, app. Because the light is because it's. It was. Um, got further distance to travel. Let me um, so tell you what app it was. Okay. 
Kodak Mobile so Film Scanner. Might be different on iPhone, but I've got an Android, so it's pretty cool. I'm going to um, get it onto the laptop, put it on a memory stick, maybe add text to it, you know, keep it forever, you know. At the moment, some of them are playing with the camera over there, I'll show you. Something like that. Oh, That's what they're up to. Yeah. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, <laughs> sort it out, sort stuff out. We are wrapping up, end of day four. So, uh, yeah, we've learned quite a lot today. As usual, I'm going to insert the pictures after this clip and you'll see those. Day five. Um, it's currently like middle of the day, like lunchtime, like one o'clock-ish. And um, we've basically just been like speaking to some of the digital art people and like chatting about stuff. And um, I've been kind of like learning stuff about film downstairs, which has been good. Like, I was asking Daniel and Sandy, who's a really good filmmaker, about stuff. And um, we're waiting for pizza at the moment. I've already had my sandwich because I don't really, I don't eat pizza that often. I don't know, pizza hut. <laughs> but now we've got Mariam, which is setting up stuff behind me. Um, hopefully you can hear me. And um, she's going to do a talk and um, she's got some artwork in Selfridges, like an exhibition. So, um, <laughs> so uh, yeah, we're gonna, she's a really good photographer and we're going to learn from her and we're going to have a good time. The pizza has been demolished. I don't like deep pan pizza. Like I'm a pizza snob. I think I've said that in my vlogs before. I am a pizza snob. I just I had a sandwich. But anyway, so Mariam's just done her presentation and now we've set up a backdrop. Amazingly, my favourite colour, sky blue. Luckily I didn't wear blue today because I almost wore that colour, so thankfully I didn't. But um it's, it's really, it's going really well so far. I've been asking loads of questions. I've been learning loads of different things, you know, stuff like that. And uh, yeah, we're kind of just having a good time. I've had a really good day. Like, I'll uh, show you a bit more like when stuff's happening, but it's, it's really good. Like, I'm looking forward to week two. The Monday of week two is a bank holiday, so we're not here. So it would be Tuesday up to Friday, and the Friday evening is the showcase. So I will um, leave like a, I'll leave links in the description. I'll show the um, event flyer, you know, show you some stuff. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's good. I'm just looking around, it's quite noisy in here, so I'm sorry if you can't hear me very well. But I'll show you some more when uh, we get stuck in with Mariam's workshop. So, the idea is to kind of get a picture with things that kind of make you you, I suppose, or stuff about history. I just I just want to be photographed, really. You know, I've scanned a few photos and I've got some of my score sheets of like music things that I play and I've like put them together. So there's that, but um, I just I just want a picture. I, you know, I'm, I'm not really fussed about any of the history stuff for me. But just being photographed by Mariam is like amazing. She's like really good photographer so yeah I will um, show you that in a second when it's my turn that's the thing with me being a photographer I never get my picture taken <laughs> I prefer you standing, sorry. I prefer me 
photos when I have them. So cool. Um, I'll do the lights. Do you want to... I'll do the lights. Do you want to do a little five minutes of them? And that, yeah. that pretty much wraps up day five. I mean, there was the induction day, but you've seen that. And next week is going to be so different, so fun. Like, I'm going to do loads of different things. Like not just photography, I'm going to do loads of different things and I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to bring you along with me. It's going to be super cool. And that wraps that up, so I'll see you in another video. Bye.